What is up with athletes always beating their girlfriends? I really don't understand it. I feel like it's very common that we hear about an athlete beating their girlfriend. And I don't understand why it's so common. You have all this money. You're literally living the dream, making millions of dollars to play the sport you love. And you go and do something stupid. And it has happened again with the Houston Rockets player, Kevin Porter Jr. Allegedly, all the bruises she has on her neck and her face. You know, it's allegedly that he repeatedly punched her in the face with a closed fist, which caused a laceration above her right eye and bruising and substantial pain to her face. But not just her face. He squeezed her neck so hard that she suffered a fractured vertebrae in her neck. How hard do you have to squeeze someone to give them a fractured vertebrae? Why are you doing this, dude? And apparently she was sleeping while this first started happening. Like, there's no reason to ever do that to someone unless your life is on the line, but she was sleeping. I don't care how loud of a snore someone is. You should not just start beating them the fuck up and choking them out until they get a fractured vertebrae. This NBA player is making 50 million dollars next season and if the Rockets cut him because of this he still gets that 15 million I don't understand why people are like this especially an NBA or any other sports player you have your life is completely made like why do they commit crimes they'll do the stupidest shit when all you have to do is just follow the law and not hurt anyone and your life's gonna be set your family's life's gonna be set everything's gonna be set but no for some reason they want to beat the fuck out of their girlfriends and you're gonna get caught dude like i don't what is your end goal here like to teach her a lesson about something what a, what a shit way to teach someone a lesson dude these are the worst kind of people in general men are stronger than women so why are you doing violence to what is supposed to be your girlfriend that you love and you cherish but no let's let's beat the fuck out of her for what reason there doesn't need to be a reason because nothing is valid unless she was like had a knife to you or something then okay but other than that if your life is not in danger even if she hits you if she hits to multiple times it's usually like the five rule she hits you like five times you can get one good hit in apparently she was sleeping so like this guy's one of the biggest piece of shits i've ever heard of if this is all true which don't see how it wouldn't be and in 2020 he was arrested on a weapons charge but the grand jury declined to indict him oh he's an nba player we'll, we'll let him do his thing he's fine you know he made a mistake why does this happen like if someone can explain to me why this feels very common for athletes to just lose control is it the steroids maybe they're having a roid rage or something it's impossible to wrap my head around why someone would even beat someone up let alone a woman up you're just a big piece of shit man and he didn't even stop attacking her until she ran in the hallway covered in blood like holy fuck that is vile to even here get this guy locked up and he should never touch the nba again given that this is confirmed true i don't care how good of a basketball player you are there that is unacceptable like you should be put in jail for i don't know how long would be valid because these type of people they probably have done this before it's probably done it to this girl before it's probably done to other women before just get him locked up and keep him locked up he's not needed to society anymore how fucking stupid do you have to be to do something like that you got to be the dumbest motherfucker to have your life just perfectly good and you go do something like this and it's common for athletes that they'll not even necessarily beat their girlfriends but they'll go you know drive a car at 120 miles per hour and kill a woman and her dog like what are you doing dude 120 miles per hour in like a 40 it's just dumb as fuck like you think these athletes would be smart but their whole life was probably just oh this guy is a really good athlete so we can push him through the school even if he's a dumb fuck and doesn't know anything and it's just a complete piece of shit to society but oh he's good at sports he's good at sports dude just push him on in push him on in you know he gets all f's gets fucking retarded but no he's an athlete though so we'll, we'll give him good grades as an athlete you have a role to be a role model kids are looking up to you every day like oh i love this guy he's really good at basketball my dream to be as good as this guy and when you have that kind of pressure you can't afford to do shit like this and this is like a way extreme example of what not to do as a role model obviously you don't beat your girlfriend up while she's sleeping like that's the part that really fucking pisses me off the fact of him even beating her up also really pisses me off but the fact he did it while sleeping maybe he found her cheating went through her phone saw that she was cheating but that's still not an excuse to beat the fuck out of her if that's even the case who knows what was the thing that sent him off maybe it was something as simple as she was snoring too loud but it's a common theme that we see with athletes 
athletes all the time. For whatever reason, they just like to get in trouble and do stupid shit. And I feel like it's more common for football because, you know, maybe they CTE, they're getting hit in the head, and it causes them to just not know what they're doing. For basketball, you don't really get hit in the head at all, so there's no excuse for this guy besides he's a piece of shit. There's no way this is the first time that something like this has happened. It's just the first time we're actually hearing about it. But I wonder what set him off. I, I don't know. No matter what it was, it doesn't equate to you beating her up, dude. You're, you're a piece of shit, man. And hopefully you never set foot in the NBA court again if this is all true. And you go to jail for however long someone should go to jail for for doing something like this. Beating a woman up is like one of the lowest things you can do. Especially as a male, you know, we're seen as protection of women. We're supposed to protect the women. It's kind of not like that anymore, but that's kind of what it used to be. Now you're the one beating the woman. So I don't, I don't understand, but yeah, this guy is a piece of shits. So fuck you, Kevin Porter Jr. That's pretty much all there really is to it. Just wanted to make a quick video saying fuck this guy and hope you're in prison if this is true. Other than that, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.